the book of Revelations, chapter 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that leadeth who? Into captivity shall go into captivity. Go ahead. Run. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Run. The Lord is letting you know. He that leadeth into slavery shall go into slavery. Run. He that killeth you with his sword must be killed with his sword. Run. That is justice. Run. I S U P K. UBK out of 125th Street, Harlem, New York. We are out here to represent the blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native Indians right. who are of the lost 12 tribes of Israel. All the foolishness you've been told your whole life that these white people in the land of Israel are the Jews are lies. Right. Right. And today, we are here to go in into your history. We are out here representing, commanding General Yohanna, the head of the nation of Israel today. Right. Just like Moses was the head of Israel back then, right. commanding General Yohanna is the man that bringing out the truth to our people in this time. Right. Right. Letting you know about your history. Letting you know that you have to keep the laws of God. Right. And that the laws of God are not done away with. Right. So today, we are going to go in into a little bit of your history. Because as we know, out of all the races in Trinidad and Tobago, black people know very little about your history. On the world stage, there is still the black man. Forget about slavery. Right. It gone. It passed. But 9-11 happened the other day. And there is still a remember 9-11. Right. Remember how much white people die in 9-11. But don't remember your history. Right. Forget about that like garbage. Right. That gone. You don't get beat. You don't get whipped. You're walking around. Forget about your history. Right. But we're going to remind you today about the atrocities that was done to us. Right. And we want you never to forget it. Right. In any first article. First article. Bates. Alligators with picnics. So like your picnics. Read a Washington Times headline on June 3rd, 1908. The article continues. Zoo specimens coaxed to summer quarters by plump little Africans. The new. Right. So, when he's saying Africans here, he's talking about Negroes. Right. Because there's another lie that the white man tells me. Right. He didn't get away with full history when we came from in slavery. But when you come to the ISUBK, you're going to get a full understanding. Go right. ahead. The New York Zoology Garden zookeeper sent two black children into an enclosed 
that house more than 25 crocodiles and alligators. The children were chased by the hungry reptiles, entertaining zoo patrons while leading the alligators and crocodiles out of the house where they spend the winter into a tank where they can be viewed during the summer. Right. So any piece of history that the brother brought out there is your history. White people used to take we and bow in zoos. Right. We children right in zoos. Right. Bali get and say them for right. the entertainment. Right. Never forget it. Right. right. Never forget it. Right. right. Never forget history. Right. And have a righteous anger. Right. And the Lord ain't forget it neither. Right. right. Never forget it. Right. They used to take us, put us in enclosures like animals. Right. And let alligators eat our young ones for their entertainment. Never forget it. Right. Never forget it. Right. Go ahead. The zookeeper pressed them into service. He believed that alligators and crocodiles had an epicurean fondness for the black man. He also believed, along with all the people who allowed it to happen, that the lives of those sons were nearly valueless. Hold it right there. So they say the zookeeper who allow we young children back in the time of slavery to be in a zoo enclosure with alligators that we black children, life was valueless. Right. It was worth nothing. Right. Never forget it. Right. And the Moosai will never forget it. Right. We out here because we want justice. Right. But to get our justice, black man, you have to come off of all the vices you own. Right. The smoking. Right. You're running hoes. Right. Sinning against the Moosai. Right. Right. We have to do that to get justice. Right. There is no mention of punishment for the zookeeper in the 166 word article. It offers not one adjective that would imply that the actions of the zookeeper was despicable, unthinkable, or even reckless. Right. So the zookeeper do that? And it's entertainment for whites. No punishment. Alligators eating with young ones. And no punishment. Right. But I'll tell you, forget that. And remember 9-11. Right. To hell with 9-11. Right. It got the blasted burn. Right. All of them should burn. Alligator right. hunters would sit crying black babies who were too young to walk at the water's edge with a rope around their necks and waist, and the babies would splash and cry until an, a crocodile snapped one of them and the hunters would kill the alligator only after the baby was in its jaws. Hold it right there. So we shall run, even the ones on them that could not have walk back in slavery days. They would take ropes and tie around the neck and dangle them in front of the alligator until the alligator bite them. Good. This is something black man you must never forget. Right. Good. And have a righteous hunger right. to clean up yourself right. from the garbage you're in. Right. And join with your brothers in the ISUBK right. who want vengeance on all the nations. Right. Right. Because all of you do us evil. And all of you still doing us evil. Right. The most I will never forget. Right. And black man, Hispanic man, a native Indian man, never forget. Right. Oh God. This is the next article. When Native Americans were slaughtered in the name of civilization, their skin was dark, their languages were foreign, and their worldviews and spiritual beliefs were beyond most white men's comprehension. Right. So they said the Native Americans and them, the original ones, is the skin was black. Right. You understand? Because Native American, Negroes, and Hispanics are the same people. Right. They are the seed of Jacob. Right. And the same atrocities 
they fell under as well from this white devil, right. this white deceiver. Right. This is something you must never forget. Right. And have a righteous anger right. from the Lord for justice. Right. And stop being a coon and being coward in society. Right. Right. And stand for who you are. Right. Stand for your nation. Right. Stand for your people. Next article. For decades, the U.S. took thousands of Native American children and enrolled them in off-reservation boarding schools. Students were systematically stripped of their languages, customs, and culture. And even through, even though there were accounts of neglect, abuse, and death at these schools, they became a blueprint for how the U.S. government would forcibly assimilate Native people into white America. Right. So the same assimilation that went on with the Native Indian people is the same assimilation they do to the black man in the Christian church. Right. Making you think that this is your religion when they're the white man religion. Right. right. And this is what we must never forget. And this is why you must come out of the religions. Because it's a systematic something. Right. Now you have a choice. You can walk away from the garbage that was implanted to your four parents. Right. Next article. Miss Valencia and other descendants of lynching victims and now casting attention on one of the grimiest campaigns of racist terror in the American West, the lynching of thousands of men, women, and children of Mexican descent from the mid 19th century until well into the 20th century. Some victims were burned alive, like Antonio Rodriguez 20, a migrant worker who was hauled from a jail in Rock Spring, Texas, tied to a tree and set ablaze in 1910. Other mobs hanged, whipped, and shot Mexicans, many of whom were, in, were United States citizens, sometimes drawing. Right. So that's something that we don't know. Because you're always hearing about the black man, any time of slavery was lynched, was burnt, but the same thing happened to we Hispanic brothers. Right. The same thing from the same beast, the same white bastard. The same evil he did to them. That's why we say the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the lost 12 tribes of Israel. Right. We are under the same curses. Right. Never forget that. Right. Never forget that black man. Don't get so caught up in the Netflix and all the foolishness that it is pushing us, the BET and all them things that you don't remember the atrocities that was done unto us. Right. Because the most I ain't forget it. Right. And we the men in the ISUBK ain't forget it. Right. We're going to come out here every Friday and remind you about the evil that was done to us by the nations. Right. The book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 9. And thy mighty men, O to man, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Right. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. Right. Pause there. So the most high delegates a whole book in the Bible, the book of Obadiah, to the white man, who biblical name is Edom or Esau. Right. The Lord letting you know, he ain't forget the violence that he do against his brother Jacob, right. Right, which is the blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Right. Right. The Lord letting you know there that he ain't forget. And that all of them going to be cut off on his return right. 
The Christian church wouldn't tell you that. Right. That is why I'm standing here. Because I want to see the judgment. Right. I want to see the punishment. Right. I want to whip the box like the whip our box. Right. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 1. Moreover, the word came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Moxia, and the prophecy against it, and say unto it, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, O Moxia, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate, Right. So the Most High going to make them desolate. Monksia is another word that represents the so-called white man. Coming into the ISUPK and learn how to identify him in the Bible. Right, right. And today you see the punishment that he pouring out with the coronavirus and all these white nations. Right. right. America and Europe and all of them. And right now the point of us the ads, the one workers in the country, the one slaves to come and get the coronavirus to help build back the economy. Right. Black man, don't go. Right. Don't go. Right. The Lord say in the book of Daniel that all the thrones have to be cast down. Right. Let them be cast down. Right. Let them fall. You stay around your people. Right. And join your people right. and bail your people right. and let the economy fall. Right. Let it crash. Right. Go ahead. Verse 4 I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. He be said, He will let, lay the cities waste, and that is what is going on today. This book don't lie. Go ahead. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I lived, said the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Read that again. I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Blood is going to follow the so-called white man for the wickedness that he has done to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians throughout time. Blood will pursue him. So any Mosai make any drive by and go in in these Eden countries and them, America and Europe and all these countries, don't go there and work. Right. Let right. them take the coronavirus in right. the blood clot. Right. Right. Don't go there and work. Don't get in between the most high and the bullets. Right. Let them hit the target. Right. Right. The, right. Right. the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 13. For thus said the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make a desolate from the man, and they of the dawn shall fall by the sword. Go ahead. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall be they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord. Right. So in the scriptures, the scriptures let you know that Israel is the Lord's weapons of war. Right, right. So when the Lord come again the second time, it's only fear. You oppress us, you kill us, you murder us. We're going to do the same thing to you. Right. We are going to kill you right. and we're going to put you in slavery. Right. And you think you're lying? Go to Revelation 13 and 10. Right, right. Let the most I speak. Let God be truth and every man a liar. Right. Right. The book of Revelations, chapter 13 and verse 10. Right. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that leadeth who? Into captivity. 
shall go into captivity. Go ahead. Run. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Run. Run. The Lord is letting you know. He that lead you into slavery shall go into slavery. Run. He that killeth you with his sword must be killed with his sword. Run. That is justice. Run. That is justice. Run. That is the justice that I pray for. Good. 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 That me and my children could see. We deserve to see that justice. Good. So many years under the whip, under the oppression. They finally start to play with the coronavirus. Good. Good. But I just won. I just shot number one. When the most I done with Esau, who is the so-called white man, they won't talk about Egypt again. Good. It will be a new story to live out throughout generations. Good. So it's important. Black people, Hispanic people, Native Indian people, to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Good. Because he let us know if we do that, he's going to come back and set order on the earth. Good. And put us on top and put them back into servitude Good. and handmaids. Good. And the so-called white man, he's going to destroy him forever. But to get at justice, you have to be in good standing to the Lord. Good. You have to do something that the Lord requires. You have to serve him like you never served him before. And come together with your people. Don't join with Edens. Edens' agenda is only to make money. Good. They only like power. Good. Join with your people. And let us come back to God's laws. Go ahead. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. The white man is the end of the world. Right. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians is the beginning of it that followeth. Our time is next. Right. He runs. Your time to pay is next. Right. Moab, your time to pay is next. Good. Esau, your time to pay is next. Good. The so-called Chinese and the so-called white man and the so-called East Indian, your time to pay is next. Good. And our time is next to be delivered out of this low estate. Good. Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian. And with that, I bet for a Spain. Shalom. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain and a lot of sorrow. Got betrayed, so packed. I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused, about to lose hope. Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord?